My name is Dr. Jeffrey McCafferty. I'm a professor in the Department of Anthropology and Archaeology at the University of Calgary. One of the things that especially excites me about work in Nicaragua is the fact that it's an area that is relatively unknown from an archaeological perspective. And as a consequence, we've had the opportunity to truly rewrite the history of the country and of its pre-Columbian peoples. I've always been interested in historical archaeology, and so my research for the past 15 years has been investigating archaeological sites along the shore of Lake Nicaragua, in part to follow historical references to the migrations from central Mexico into Pacific Nicaragua, dating to along about 1,000 in the Common Era, and the opportunity then to look at questions of ethnicity and other aspects of social identity of a migrant group that has settled in a new territory. One of the exciting things about working at El Rayo in particular is that because it has a number of different small cemetery areas, the discovery of human remains is always quite interesting in itself, and skeletal remains will be subjected to ancient DNA testing as well as stable isotope analysis but oftentimes there are exciting artifacts that are buried to go along with it as grave goods. And probably the most exciting thing that I've ever found was an intact ocarina, like a whistle or a flute, in the shape of a bird. And so when I gave an end of field presentation at the National Palace, we were able to play this instrument for the first time in a thousand years. And I still get goosebumps thinking about that. One of the things that I like about archaeological research is it's a very communal endeavor. So you're working as a team. And through large-scale projects, such as this field school, it'll be a team that will consist of professional archaeologists, graduate students, other undergraduate students, Nicaraguan archaeologists, and members of the Nicaraguan community. Working in an environment as distinct as tropical Nicaragua, you are bombarded with sights, sounds, smells, and mosquitoes, but archaeological field schools, especially international ones, are just plain good for you. They are an opportunity to learn about other cultures. They're an opportunity to participate in sort of scientific investigation, developing research questions, participate in the discovery process, and then interpret the information that's being found. And this is an experience that will profoundly shape experiences for many years to come. <laughs>